<coughs> Alright, come on David, you can do this. Hello everyone, and welcome back. Firstly, yes, I am blonde. Secondly, Merry Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas if you were celebrating, and also Happy New Year, or Feliz Año Nuevo, whatever it is in your language. That's right, it's 2020, and more specifically, it's January the 5th, 2020. And you know what? semi nomad life has begun. That's right, travelling full-time is over, kind of. We'll be travelling in a different way now, going forward. And I've got one thing to say. Dobro došli u Belgrade. That's right. Look at that in the background. That means <laughs> welcome to Belgrade. Yes, I'm back in Belgrade. I was last here in August, I think, last year. And I decided to come back here as somewhere to basically live for a few months. Amazing. And you know what I'm going to do today? We're going to talk about plans for 2020. And you know what? I know what you're thinking, you know, oh, it's just going to be a sit down, boring talking video. No way! We're going to be a bit novel and inventive and do it in a bit of a different way, talking about travel plans, work plans, you name it, for the coming year. And by the way, I'm freezing me tits off. Yes, Belgrade is freezing, it's Arctic, but I don't care because I'm loving it. So firstly, we're going to have a little look around Belgrade. Oh, Belgrade Fortress. <laughs> I quite like my blonde hair. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, Belgrade. Yes, it's cold. Yes, it's grey. Yes, it's miserable. This is Europe in January, people. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's like England. You know, exactly the same in England as well. And the thing about Belgrade and Serbia I want to mention is that I will be travelling elsewhere in Serbia while I'm here over the next few months. So if you are from Serbia, let me know in the comments down below any places that you would like to see videos from. Thank you to everyone that has already done so in previous videos. And on the subject of New Year and resolutions, I think people that make New Year's resolutions are generally people that have no hope of achieving them because they're normally quite stupid things like, you know, eat vegetables, stop smoking, stop biting your nails. That's three for me, actually. Um, however, I think it's still important that we plan be ambitious, be audacious, make long-term plans, even if they don't work out. We'll see what happens. One of them for me is that I want to look less like a tramp traveller, you know, get rid of this stupid red jacket, look a bit more, you know, normal now that we're living normal life again, semi-nomad life. There's a market up there. Let's go and have a look. So good evening everyone, we're continuing our London journey for the second time this year, the second time I've been back in London and we're in Covent Garden and guess what day it is? It's New Year's Eve, yes it's December the 31st 2020 and this video is very much my review of the year video, you might remember last year I did one in my mum's place in Devon, this time we're taking a walk around London on the evening of New Year's Eve, I'm excited, there's people everywhere, let's get moving. <laughs> So there's Common Garden Station, lovely. I'm not going to dwell on this area too much because it was in the videos earlier this year when I was back here to get my passport, if you remember that, just after I left Oviedo. Uh, the weather is muy terrible. You know, I'm still speaking Spanish after my time in Spain. Speaking of that, I could really do with some proper authentic Spanish food again. But we're just going to have a look around at New Year's Eve in London and talk about some of the good, bad and the ugly of 2020 because there have been many ugly moments, I'm sure you remember. So uh, let's continue walking. It's not London without a trip to Angus Steakhouse and Leicester Square Station. 
Ta da! And um, apologies for the bad lighting and the wind. Despite getting a new phone in Tbilisi early this year, it's still a disaster zone because low light conditions. I don't know where I'm going. Aimless walking. Ah, oh, just look at lovely central London on New Year's Eve. We're heading towards Leicester Square area. And earlier in this video, I'll show you some shots over the top now. I've been to areas like Chelsea, King's Road, uh, Embankment, Waterloo Bridge, places like that. Places that I used to come to a lot when I lived here and um, when I worked here. Obviously, I've said in the previous video that I might be moving back here. We're into the fifth year of travel now. I don't know if I could do it anymore. <laughs> ah, look. Hello Piccadilly Circus, it's been a long time, 2021 is coming, it's time to find somewhere to sit down, probably not the best place, well done David as always. So thank Christ for Piccadilly Circus lighting, fantastic, and you know what, let's start with travel, so I think the first thing to mention about this year, you know what I'm going to talk about, the place, I don't need to mention it, you know that place was monumental, it was the best place I've ever been, and looking back at Mexico from 2019, you know, there were so many misconceptions about Mexico and I've banged on about that for so long in videos, but oh my God, you know, having people having misconceptions about Africa as a continent itself, shocking. You know, the ignorance, the level of ignorance was, was shocking. And I think those videos hopefully prove that, you know, you can go to a place with those misconceptions and completely be smashed out of the water. As I mentioned earlier, Spain, it was great to go there because obviously this year I wasn't in Mexico as much, very shortly in Mexico, briefly rather. So to be able to live in Spain for a period of time, to really experience the differences between Mexico and Spain, that was my aim. You know, obviously I didn't go to places like Benidorm or Malaga. It was all about the real Spain, you know, authentic Spain before any Spaniards go crazy at me again. I think it's been a bit bonkers actually, you know, just like 2019, we went to a lot of places that I didn't really expect that I was gonna go to. And, you know, the thing about planning, in terms of travel, a lot of people bang on at me about, you know, oh, you said you were going to go to this place, but you didn't. We can make plans, but it's okay to change them. It's important to have long-term plans in life, and, um, oh, hello. <laughs> but, you know, oh, the darkness. Lighting. There's Regent Street down there, lovely. And um, in terms of work, let's talk about that. Let's get a bit further away from the camera this time. Um, oh my God. So obviously italki has, has reduced a little bit this year. I'm still doing it. It's a stable income. My ebook, that's the thing I'm proudest about this year. I've become a writer and obviously it took longer to release than I thought. Completely underestimated the design phase and actually getting it online. But, you know, eventually people started buying it and it's provided me another income. And now I'm writing another book, an actual book, a real book about the 1000 days of travel which goes way back to like mid 2019 when I achieved that also. So work-wise, I'm really pleased. Uh, you know, again, I've got italki as a stable income. YouTube still remains to be a constant income, uh, which allows me to travel still. So I think the thing about this year is that I've realized it can continue. I'm into the fifth year now, as I said. It's bonkers. Look at Piccadilly Circus on um, New Year's Eve. Buses, lights, stunning. And finally, was becoming a semi-nomad the right thing to do? Absolutely. You know, when I was in Belgrade, it was, oh, remember, remember Whiskey and Cardi? They were the best. I missed them so much, even though they were little bitches to begin with. But, you know, I became friends with them eventually. And, you know, the, the thing about being a semi-nomad, it has changed. So it's okay to go back to being a full-on digital nomad again, and that's happened this year. But, you know, being able to actually settle in a place I finally got used to it after the Mexico City experience a couple of years ago. And, you know, going to places like Sarajevo, Montenegro, Vienna, top notch, and being able to actually focus on YouTube for the whole week and not do everything at once. But the thing I've realized is that it's not necessarily like that because I'm always checking emails. I'm always doing about 10 million, 10 million things at once. But overall, I think it's made me realize that yes, I can be a digital nomad. I can be a semi-nomad if I want. I can have the flexibility. So. Um, I'm interested to see how that develops in 2021. Like I said, possibly moving back to the UK. <sighs> so it's the next step, the next stage. Right, next up is fireworks. <sighs> We're back in the warm in Belgrade. And on the subject of warmth, the central heating where I'm staying is fantastic. I can have hot showers every morning. 
unlike a certain other country that will go unnamed, <coughs> Mexico. <laughs> but anyway, another great thing about this place is the fact that there are two cats. One of them absolutely loves me, the other one hates me. So the plan is for the next couple of months to try and build a relationship with those cats, hopefully. So those were my plans for this year. Are they realistic? Are they audacious? Should we be planning ahead that far ahead in the future? The thing I wanna do this year is try and stick to those plans as much as possible. And at the end of this year, we're gonna revisit this video by hopefully refilming it in London again. <laughs> See, a challenge, it's a huge challenge. That's what I wanna do, challenge myself this year. So what are you gonna do in terms of challenging yourself this year? Let me know down in the comments. Do you prefer to plan long-term like that? Do you prefer to plan month by month? What kind of plans do you have? Or are you one of those people, dare I say it, that relies on hope, fate, and destiny? You know, that's not the way to live your life, right? So anyway, that's it for this video. Lots of videos coming from Belgrade and also my first semi-nomad trip location, which will solely be YouTube for the whole week. Yes! Which has been revealed on my Instagram. So head over to my Instagram and you will know where I'm going. If not, you'll have to wait. I'll see you soon. Catch you later.